after transgender sensitivity training becomes mandatory in the army, Delta Force operator had Delta Force operator issues reality check. All soldiers in the U.S. Army are now required to take a 50-minute course on transgender sensitivity training. Independent Journal Review wanted to know what veterans who have trained thousands of soldiers to fight in combat think about the news. We spoke with U.S. Army Master Sergeant Rhett and Delta Force Operator Dale Comstock. Comstock has seen more war than the average American can wrap their head around. In fact, he served in every major campaign from Grenada in 1983 to present-day conflicts. Comstock said, This whole political social experiment is not helping. The reality is, it's in the army, it's in the navy, it's in the military. And unless Mattis and Trump rescind all these policies and stop this madness, it's here to stay. It affects morale and combat readiness on many levels. At the end of the day, war fighting is about one thing, killing people. It's about bringing home our guys alive. It's, about, it's not about being sensitive to a transgender. This isn't corporate America. This is the military. You can't just put some policy in place because you want people to feel equal. Most guys who join the military, especially special operations forces, were the boys who had dirt clawed fights on the playground, wrestled and fist fought, stole each other's girlfriends, and pledged and pledged allegiance to the flag. And that same spirit and apex pre predator mindset goes with us to the military. Comstock explained how policies uh, to be more sensitive to others are affecting, are affecting our guys overseas. I was in Afghanistan working for a government agent, agency, and this one guy was there with us in the middle of a war zone, but he hadn't gone through his equal opportunity training, so they flew a bird out to get him in the midst of a war zone. That type of thing can immediately give away our position to the enemy. <clears throat> he shared a story with IJR about a female soldier who got shot in Afghanistan and another team member who went back to get her instead of winning the firefight. They were out on patrol and this female soldier caught a bullet under her body armor. It's standard in the military that if you have a casualty, the best way to help that casualty is to win the firefight. But this guy inst instead decided to help the female soldier. soldier. He wanted to make sure she was okay. And guess what? He caught a bullet to the brain and dropped dead right there. Comstock emphasized how war brings on a storm of different feelings and emotions. But you can't let those things control your capability, effectiveness, and readiness. Look, we are all we are all about helping one another and being there for our brothers. We bleed in the trenches together. We stick our fingers in each other's bullet holes to stop the bleeding. We know each other in some respects better than we know our own families. We are a close-knit group. But now you throw this transgender thing into the mix? And soldiers are going to worry about offending others instead of just doing their jobs. Comstock provided another example of how the transgender issue is affecting the military. He talked about another guy who is training in, who is training for special forces, but how two guys in the training recently got the attention of their teacher in the class for posting pictures of them kissing and bragging about how they how they'll become green barrettes. The entire class got smoked because because two guys were transgenders on Instagram taking pictures of, uh, uh, taking pictures of them kissing and doing other stuff and all that and they were talking about how they were they're going to be green barrettes and all that on Instagram the head of the class was livid he told the entire class to go home and get some rest and be ready for a long smoke session a smoke session is like collective punishment. The takeaway from the smoke session was that these two assholes were tarnishing the reputation of their unit. Comstock finished saying, you're putting good young men in peril just because you want everyone in America to feel good. 
Being in the military isn't about being equal or feeling good. It's about being the best warfighter or helper to other warfighters possible. Throwing more social experiments in the foray of all it will throwing more social experiments in the foray of it all will only cost more lives when these guys could and should be spending 50 minutes mastering the art of warfare instead.